NA News, and today we will be talking about Black History Month. We will start with the Children's March. On Thursday, May 2nd, 1963, a march began to change the future. It started him in Birmingham, Alabama. Kids skipped school to head down to 6th Street. They started at Baptist Church. The march, they marched while filling the air with song, We Shall Overcome. Many kids were as young as six years old. As the kids walked, the police arrested them, hosed them, and had the dogs attack them. By the end of the day, almost a thousand kids had been put in jail. Dr. Martin Luther King was also part of the march and later got arrested. Later, we found out that Reverend James Bevel was the leader of the march. Some kids were in there for three weeks and only had one sandwich a day. The march ended May 4th, 1963. All the kids marched to make a difference. The march, the march be, was because of segregation between people. Many people helped organize the march. One was Maya Angelou. And here are some images from the Children's March. Speaking of Maya Angelou, just last night, May 24, 2014, she passed away due to heart to the heart problems at the age of 86. This inspirational legend was born on April 4th, 1928. She has brought much entertainment to her audience with several autobiographies, poetry, songs, and television shows. In fact, Angelou was the first African-American woman to direct and produce for 20th Century Fox. Maya Angelou was a civil rights activist. She helped Dr. Martin Luther King and the civil rights movement. As the Northern Coordinator for the Southern Christian Leaders Conference, Maya Angelou has never attended college but has more than 50 honorary degrees as a result of this, Mrs. Angelou began to teach at West Forest University in Winston-Salem, North Carolina in the year of 1982. She mastered six other languages besides English. In the year of 1977, Angelou was nominated for an Emmy Award. 17 years later, she won a Grammy Award for an audio recording of the poem on the pulse of the morning. In the year of 2011, she was presented the Presidential Medal of Freedom by Barack Obama. It's devastating to see Angela go, but may her legacy live on and may she rest in peace.